Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm King Posh, and today we are looking at the number four rear-wheel drive Drifter Chevy NASCAR edition. So why did I bring up the NASCAR? Well, there's a story behind pretty much um, where I'm going um, tomorrow morning at 6.30 in the morning for three days. I am heading up north, just uh, a little a little ways from um, Birmingham to a place called Talladega. In 2009, three-time Sprint Cup champion Tony Stewart teamed up with machining magnate and Formula One team owner Gene Haas to create their own NASCAR race team, Stewart Haas Racing. 2011 brought Tony Stewart the Sprint Cup title as a driver and owner, a feat not accomplished since 1992. Three years later, Kevin Harvick won Stewart Haas Racing its second title. In 2016, the team's full-time drivers include Harvick, Danica Patrick, and Kurt Busch. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, yeah, so I am heading to... Um, first, the International Motorsports Hall of Fame and Museum, yep, in Talladega, Alabama. And then also I'm doing, um, either, like, tomorrow I'll, I'll probably do the museum, and then the next day I'm going to do the Talladega Super Speedway. And what that is, is it's a 45-minute bus tour, which includes the pit area of the racetrack. So I will get to see all the NASCAR stuff there too. Um, at the museum, there are um, five five building complex houses with more than 100 racing vehicles, as well as racing related memorabilia and research library. So. It's going to be fun in Talladega for the next couple of days. So I'm going to get to see the racetrack, everything else. So this is why I'm showing you guys my drift tune for the NASCAR. So let's have a nice little look of this. That's a little useless to me. All right. There we go. Let's go look at that engine. Oh man, I'm going to be seeing these all, all week. Oh, gorgeous. Now, hopefully I get some good pictures. Pretty. Press the buttons. Nice fuel cell. Mm -hmm. Still, it's still room for luggage. Flappers. They like to call air brakes. See if we can get in. Look at that. With ease. With ease. Can we start it? There's the start button. Seven hundred and twenty-five glorious horsepower. Looking good. And there you have it. So let's get right into what I did to the tune to get it to to drift. So gorgeous. Hmm. Why'd I pick this car? Because I love steak. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh oh. Uh, and there it is completely exploded and back together. Exploded and back together. All right. Enough humor. Let's go right into the tune. And show, well, let's. Well, I can't really go right into the tune. You got to be like, well, Posh, what did you put into it? All right, well, let's get to it. Engine swap, none. I left the original engine. I didn't go with the um, 5.9 liter V8. I went with the original engine on this bad boy. All right, and it still has a top speed. 
So, um, wouldn't probably recommend it for uh, uh, racing or anything, but it has a tough speed. And I have the drag tires on it. All right. And stock for the front and stock for the rear. All right. Uh, without said, mm hmm. All right. And I left these stock at 15. 15 in the front. Wait for Rally Shepherd on lot. Okay, there he goes away. All right. And 15 in the rear. All right. Got a race drive line. Right. Race brakes. Stock weight reduction. All right, because if I would have went with that, it would have took my my thing up to an R class, and I didn't want an R class. All right. So I left it stock. All right, and that's it. That's all you can do to it. You, you, there's no engine upgrades. All right. So but now we can go into the tune. I'll show you what I did to it. It still has a top speed. So 1515 for that ultimate grip. Um, it is a basically an engine with a body on top of it. Um, Alright. I'm gonna be quiet now and I'm gonna just pause throughout. Now you see what I do with the downforce. I put it all the speed. I didn't want any downforce. And you can see it when you're drifting too that there's still downforce on the vehicle. You know, it wants to grip into the road. This is rear wheel drive. Unless you really want to get intense with it, you can touch the braking, but I left it stock. For it is a stock car. Ah, so. Yep, and 100, 100, leaving those, leaving the diff open. So, let's get right to the test drive. Um, too bad, really don't have um, any really good tracks that uh, that would work. Uh, I wish Talladega was in here, but it's not. So we deal with what we can. Um, I forget if Project Curse has Talladega. They probably don't. But um, we'll find that out. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, on um, the 16th of this month, you will be able to download Project Cars for free, the digital edition. Um, so get excited for that. I have the original one, but we'll see what happens so I will be making videos of project cars um, on the 16th around the 16th see there's a lot of grip to it there's, there's still a lot of grip to it and so I will be doing that um, I will be showing you guys how the drift tune on that game um, that's a little bit more complex um, to tuning um, aspects uh, it's not as simple as it is here because this is you know this might be simulation but that's a really really a simulation game such a beautiful car and it drives straight so, still grippy, but it can save you. I 
if, if you baby it. Alright, let's see if we can turn this thing fast. You probably could race it. It would be unorthodox, but you could race it. Mm -hmm. Being that it has our drift in on it. Still grippy. If you went faster, you'd probably make it. Hey, look at that flap. It said, Hi, King Posh! I'm having fun! Or it's probably screaming, What's going on? So, yeah, so Talladega. Uh, Alabama is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to make a lot of uh, uh, NASCAR um, friends of mine that have never been there. Um, pretty jealous, I think. Um, but it's going to be cool. Uh, do I think I'm going to make a little video? I don't know if I can. I don't know if I'll be allowed to. But if I can, I will. Uh, we'll see what we'll see what happens. If anything, I'll just I'll just piece up some pictures together and try to figure out how to uh, you know make a slideshow or something. I'll come up with something. So, Alligator. And it's gonna be nice this week to do it. So. Um, best times than ever um sad news is that um um well here we gotta go across the line first uh sad thing is that you know horizon will we get a 39,000 not bad not bad for a little nascar um uh horizon 3 has car pack coming out tomorrow i believe it's tomorrow so I won't be able to get to any of the new cars or the new um, garage car or whatever. I was going to show those videos, um, you know, last week because I thought it was going to come out um, the first of the month, you know, you know, the second of the month, which is always, you know, the Tuesday, you know, that Tuesday it was, it was supposed to come out whatever day it was. And um, it's. It didn't come out, and they're like, oh, yeah, we're bringing it out next week. And I'm like, oh, man. I set my, my Talladega trip for because I thought it was going to come up, you know. And, well, I was wrong. So, um, yeah, let's see if this thing can race. Uh, we'll do it at night. And um, so you guys are going to have to wait um, until uh, – later in the week before I even bring out the new cars and show you guys everything that I know so exciting stuff yep. so all right let's take this around the track and see if it'll even go Very uh, so happy. I can feel it. Woohoo! It's very twitchy. All right, there we go. Top speed. Look at that. Hitting it up. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Hmm. There we go. It did a lap without hitting any walls. And it's drift tuned. <laughs> 
crazy. Very twitchy. Could it do it? Yes. Would I advise it? No. Oh. Uh, there you go, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my, my video. Uh, 15 minutes long. I know it's a little longer than, than some of my videos. But yeah, guys. So I will see you guys um, in a week. Um, and uh, take care. And if you guys would like to see any um, cars, please um, put the um, messages in the comments on the, on the video. And I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace out. I'm King.